As soldiers are immersed with advanced technology such as cell phones, computers, and video games, Fort Benning is spearheading the way we fight with new simulated computer experiments. A computer game like Call of Duty is fun to play, but could you picture it helping you win a war? Well, that's the Army's goal with the new simulated computer experiment. Nicole Bateman has the story. The Maneuver Battle Lab took part in Combined Arms Maneuver Wide Area Security, or CAMWAS which is a simulated war game where over 10 posts, all networked to the same virtual battlefield, brought in their individual expertise of armor, infantry, and air support to test out future military tactics. We're looking at how the Army will be formed in uh, the year 2018. This computer simulation incorporated every aspect of a war, including real people deciding what soldiers do and real enemies fighting against them. And what we do is we have a red force here that is playing the enemy, and they have uh, studied the enemy tactics currently being used and projected how the enemy will fight in 2018. The blue team and the red team consist of soldiers, retired soldiers, and computer engineers. The people involved act out a battle based on the orders from their brigade commander. They're doing the combat in simulation and using the current mission command battle systems, uh, reporting systems, to track the battle. Each post has a part to play in the battle, and they all play on the same network so they can interact and see their combat counterparts. We go from doing simple ICU, you see me tests on the network where we'll have a, a helicopter fly over uh, dismounted infantry and make sure that the helicopter sees the infantry, the infantry sees the helicopter. In order to keep this simulation as realistic as possible, the Army employs a battle master who troubleshoots any problems and keeps the battle on course. My job is to keep the good guys in a state where they can keep the red guys at a at a defeat or disadvantage. The simulation is being conducted to formulate the Army concept for 2018. Only in the virtual world would thousands of soldiers be used on such a large scale. This is important because we're looking at the force structure of the future, both in terms of manning equipment and doctrine. With several Army installations cooperating and brigade commanders forming new military tactics based on this simulation's progress and success, the future of war is in capable hands. Nicole Bateman, Fort Benning TV.